veterans affairs officials around the country are now facing the patients they're accused of mistreating. That's thanks to town hall meetings that hospitals must hold by the end of this month. Today, patients in the D.C. area got to speak their minds. Senior political reporter Scott Thuman was there with this story you'll see only on 7. The conditions so horrible that I will commit suicide instead of coming in here for help. And I waited here for an hour and a half for that medication. If it has occurred, it has not worked. If it has not occurred, then shame on you. The punching bag that is the VA these days took some solid shots in a town hall where anyone could say anything they wanted. It's a lot of interactions going on at this hospital. A lot of them are not gonna be right. But the only way for us to make it right is to work together. It is a step forward on the eve of a hearing on the Hill to scrutinize wait times for sick veterans, a problem some claim may have contributed to up to 40 deaths. At a recent bill signing, the president gave the VA more administrative power to fire bad employees and more money to replace them. To help out, the VA's secretary is now hitting the streets himself, personally going to medical schools to recruit new doctors and nurses. Because I never had nothing to say good about the VA. But today I have to say something good. Vietnam veteran Lloyd Williams says at least initially it's working. They bring a lot of new people in and these new people are showing care for the veteran. I've never seen this before. Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News. Now, uh, Northern Virginia will play a critical role in the future of veterans' care. The Northern Virginia Technology Council will analyze and propose improvements to the VA's troubled scheduling system. The group includes five technology companies and uh, is doing the work at no charge to taxpayers.